So here, the, uh, let's talk about the the drivetrain, the powertrain. This is a Cat 4.4 4 liter inline four, uh, 220 horsepower, 517 foot pounds of torque drivetrain. Uh, you can see the tunnel approach here. It's a rear mounted engine. We tried to move it forward because in a helicopter, you have to have 50% of the load, the weight in the front, 50% in the back. This is common in racing, so that's why we have Pratt Miller here. Uh, if you look, if, you know, under the hood, we've got our cooling system is in the front. Uh, I'm not going lift, to lift it up, but under under here is where you have the cooling fans and the cooling tubes run through the tunnel. You have the air dam and you have the cooling fans here to cool off the engine. Again. The only way you can fit, we seem simply to do that is employ uh, a high performance <laughs> racing company to be able to design it. The, uh, the engine's lightweight. The engine's a proven engine. Uh, Cat sells about 100,000 of them a year. So, again, that speaks to our reliability. Um, one of the other features I want to point out here is the, the, the special operations guys uh, figure that, some, that, that the driver could get shot or get incapacitated. It, you have a throttle and a brake system in the passenger side to be able to control the vehicle uh, by steering it and braking it and even uh, putting gas on on this side. So we listen to the operator. And then, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, the other part of the configurability is you've got on the front here, you've got a uh, what we call a lane clearing kit or a front bumper. And this holds uh, amp, you know, water or gas. This component, as it slips in, can fit in the front or the rear. So there's a basket in the rear. If you want more storage, you can put two baskets on so you can actually store more. You can put a litter on it to be able to uh, evac casualties. So it has a lot of capability. It's up to the, the operator how they want to configure this thing.